Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Next Team Podcast. And uh, today's footballing content is brought to you by the awesome threesome that is Tarun, Praveen, <laughs> and your host, myself, Vikas. And um, today's uh, roundup will be uh, a couple of fixtures and uh, two contrasting fixtures, I must say. Uh, one being the amazing 2 2 game uh, between City and Liverpool. And uh, I am not looking forward to this once again. Uh, a 1 1 draw with Everton by Man United. And uh, before we kick things off, uh, Tarun, take it away. Uh, if you're listening to this or if you're watching this, we thank you all so much for your support. And uh, so please do check us out on Instagram at the next team sg you can find all our updates and all our latest content there also do check us out on tiktok at the next team sg as well while you're at it and we're also on spotify and youtube as the next team podcast so please do follow us and subscribe to us there we we'll really appreciate it thank you and uh, back to vikas solid stuff my mentor all right uh we'll kick things off with the city liverpool fixture um yep and i mean we have conveniently have liverpool and uh, we have a liverpool fan and a city <laughs> fan today so anyone can uh, start things off the game was at enfield so taro take it away <laughs> yeah sure i mean city liverpool is well you know one of the fixtures that i look forward to every season because firstly you never know how it's going to turn out secondly you just know it's going to be good football for 90 full 90 minutes straight like. And I think that's what we saw this uh, this time as well. Solid football, as usual. And uh, I mean, props to City. I think they did outplay us for a lot of the game. They sh- probably should have won. I think we got away with uh, some uh, a bit of a sub performance, I would say. But at the same time, with that Salah goal, I think we deserved a winner. That goal we deserved what? to be a winner in itself. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But I think a uh, 2-2 is a, it's a fair result. Uh, I will take it. I mean, obviously, we'll take it. Like, I mean, you guys were pretty sure the, like the, like daylight the robbery. Game. Uh, daylight robbery. Yeah, it's a daylight that's robbery. One, that's obviously, we'll take it. Like. Game, uh. Uh, I think we honest. started the first like 10-15 minutes well. Then we dropped off for a long time. And then we, we regrouped a bit towards the end. Uh. We actually could have won, I think. Yeah, but, I, I mean, I'm not going to deny that. Like, y'all... I yeah. mean, to see Pep's reaction after you guys got like goals one and two, especially the Salah goal. I thought after the Salah goal, like City were toast, honestly. And uh, yeah, even Pravin oh was God. telling me, because I was watching the match with Pravin and <laughs> Pravin <laughs> lost it. I always was quite funny to see the range of emotions from my <laughs> men. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I don't know. I mean, you guys could have won, actually, to be honest. I mean, Rodri did yeah. I mean... Oh. Uh, oh my god, what a blocker that one. That was like insane blocker. That was world class. That was world class. Yeah, it was that was a world class blocker. Oh my god. Yeah, I just the same saw thing happened. Fabinho with a open goal in front of him. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my god, yes, we scored. And Roddy just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, literally out of nowhere. Yeah, the same yeah. thing happened with the Johnstone clearance. Uh. The same season we won y'all with one point. Ah. <laughs> Damn it, yes, yeah. Ooh. So, is, that, is, that, maybe, is that foreshadowing? No. Yeah, maybe. History could repeat itself. Uh. <laughs> but I, I, mean, I think we could see a very long title fight between Liverpool and City. Uh. I don't think anyone else will sustain long. Maybe that history will repeat itself. You never know. Mm. Yeah, that's true. But I think, I think Chelsea also showed long character. You know, like they lost to City and... Uh, they, they lost, lost to Juventus. Juventus as well midweek, and yeah. they came back with a solid three-one win. I mean, yeah, we're not going to cover that fixture, yes, but uh, yeah, I think they. No, like, not the, talk- to be honest, I wouldn't. Re- I mean, they got a what pros got a red card after that only they scored the two goals. Until then, it was one-one. Yeah, yeah, but okay, like, What I mean is, they still got over the line. Like, that's the most important thing. Yeah, you yeah. you see you see teams like uh, Man United as usual struggling <laughs> to get over, even at home at Old Trafford. I don't understand how. Uh, but yeah, we'll come to that soon. Uh yeah, but okay, let's let's take a look at the goals per se, like uh, specifically the goals. So okay, for, okay, let's, okay, let, okay, okay, let's take it half by half. So first half, I think City utter domination. Uh, I think Bravi, you want to crime that we didn't score. No, no, let's <laughs> it's a crime, let's, that we crime. Yeah, that's a crime. Yes, but let's talk about Bernardo Silva, that dribble. Bravi, my man, take it away. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> so what happened was there was this guy called Bernardo Silva. His nickname is Bubblegum, by the way. 
So I because the no ball idea. sticks okay. his feet. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened was uh, that one man, I think he went across like seven or eight Liverpool players. Uh. He just, he, I think he just went on a flow. Uh. He just wanted to show who's the boss, you know. He just, he just took the ball. You know, actually, to be honest, he could have just carried the ball and just walked past. Like, I mean, no one would have stopped him then also, uh, to be honest. So, yeah. So, uh. he just dribbled, dribbled. And then there was this one special moment. Uh. Was this one special moment. There was this That's guy called Van I, I I don't know if you all know him, lah. I mean, you all know him, yeah. So there's this guy called Van Dyke. Oh my God! At one moment he was six feet tall, lah. The next moment, oh, I don't know, ah, he was shorter than me. He was just he fell flat. He just fell flat. He, he was he oh was hungry, God, like, He was eating the grass, lah. What to do? He was eating the grass. <laughs> Then that's the thing, ah. Yeah. So I thought, I mean, what a ball to Foden or so. I think Foden should have taken it first time. I mean, it would have been like, I think, a season. I think, season uh, I like think that. that was like, that, that play, right? Summed up City in the sense like, amazing build-up play, but no end product to it. And that's where the lack of a striker comes in, I think, for the whole season. I, like, yeah, that, that's, this, I feel like you guys could have won that game. I think the same chance, I think, I think the same chance, he Harry gave to Salah, Salah would have Harry, scored that. Uh. Harry Kane, If he was there at City, he would have scored that a hundred percent. No, no. Oh, if Aguero yeah, I mean, last it's time. It's easier for the. Scoring there. It's easier for the right footer to be honest. The same thing is easier for right footer. Like, I can't say that. No, even I think even for the left footer. No, even then, even even then, right? Even then, I still see like a striker finishing there, lah. Because Foden is still a, Foden is a very very good player. No doubt about that. He scored yes. Um, but I I still feel like a striker would have definitely helped your cause, lah. Like, would have taken that chance hundred percent. You know, but you know what's the strange thing? You know, his goal is harder to score than the one that he missed. Uh. Yeah, I know. The way, it's, yeah, the irony yeah, is there. Like, uh, yeah, the, the yeah. way he strike it was perfect. Uh, the, uh, the first goal. Mm. I mean, it's like, I'm pretty sure Alisson just thought he was going off target. Uh. He was like, hit the... <laughs> I'm quite sure he did. Like, he didn't even make a proper save. He just... Yeah, he just like... He watched yeah. it go in. Uh, so, yeah. yeah I think yeah. he thought it was off target. Yeah. yeah, by the way, I think Foden is the best youngster in the league. Uh. I mean, like, uh, crime, uh, criminal. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's completely... It's, Yeah, I mean, you disagree. You can go bang your head on the wall. I don't care. So, <laughs> I mean, I I mean it, okay. what a performance! Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's a fantastic he, performance. He dropped a uh, masterclass. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dropped a masterclass. I, I, mean, I, I still feel Mason Greenwood is the best, but uh, it's okay. Leave that to another de- another day, another debate. Uh, anyway, um, coming back to the first half. Okay, first half. Any other clean chance? Uh, first, I mean, Tar uh, Pravi, do you really want to open this can of worms or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Foden will take it. I mean, you you have you won many fans against both of us. You really want to go on because it's. I, I don't think Tarun. Is, to be honest, Tarun isn't that against Mason Greenwood. I don't think so. I I think Foden is better than him, but neither yeah. of them are the best youngster in the league. So. Oh my god! Oh my oh god! Because oh, yeah. please, Ta- 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 probably we should just shut up, honestly. <laughs> we forgot. We forgot I'm about Tarun's <laughs> radical we, opinions. We, we, <laughs> yeah, we forgot there was Tarun this house. Okay, fine, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so first half nothing else, right? Like nothing else significant. I mean, City utter domination. I mean, uh, that's all I can. Yeah. That's the we one. We had a few chances like here and there, but yeah. Yeah, I think the the most significant chance was probably that Foden chance. I would say, mm. like in the first half, and yeah, I mean it was brilliant from a United standpoint also to see Van Dijk on the floor. <laughs> uh, that's about it. Uh, to sum up the you first half, I think Diaz on the floor also like twice. <laughs> oh, yeah, what true. what a day it was for you, Lucas. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Not no, not complaining. Uh, how tall is Diaz, Pravin? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think he's like one, one eight eight. Uh. But 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 wait. That's not that that's that's different. Ah, uh, because that was a uh defending point of view. So this this was just, he just he just wanted to fall. Ah, uh. Van Dijk was he just wanted to fall. Uh. I don't believe really <laughs> So so what what was Van Dijk doing? He was not defending us. Uh. I think he was playing around. He won the ball back. <laughs> Huh? When they want the ball back? Wait, what? This is. What are you what on do you about? Mean? He what? He did what? No way. No lah. <laughs> Then how did, how, how 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 did it like? How did the ball go to Foden? If you want the ball back. Okay, yeah, good point. <laughs> I think we're talking about different different instances here. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's okay, let's let's, let's keep past. Let's breeze through that part. Okay, first of all, when I saw, I mean. Yes, yeah, the city hadn't scored in the first half. I thought they were going to lose the game. I was telling Pravin like, oh, def- I mean, definitely, definitely City. Same City, I will lose it because you know how Liverpool are halftime um, plop at Anfield. You probably pep up the team and uh, yeah, no pun intended by the way. But yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I definitely saw a, a Liverpool win lah um, after that because and to be honest, the way they started the half, 
Mane scored in the what 50th minute, which is a brilliant goal by the way. No lah, 60th lah. 50, almost 60, I think. Almost, almost 60. 60. Okay, 60. yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a brilliant goal by the way. Like uh, what? Uh, Salah was assist, right? Salah with assist, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Salah with assist, and uh, yeah, I mean, the the link up play between those two was uh, world class. Like, I mean, uh, what a goal! I mean, they just showed like I mean the difference in quality between the two teams in terms of finishing, at least like how. City struggled in the first half to finish the chances, and I, I, from what I remember, that was like the first clear cut chance for Liverpool, and Mane puts it away, lah. And uh, yeah, that's quite amazing to be to me, like this as a as a neutral, to be behind the whole game and then come back and then you score the first goal to break the deadlock. It's pretty amazing, lah. And that too against arguably the best team in the league. I have to give Liverpool credit for that. And uh, yeah, one, Mane also is probably one of the most. Out of form player in Liverpool the last few months. Yeah, yeah definitely. But he's been scoring uh, here and there. To be honest, he's yeah, just not recognized. Yeah. 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 But maybe not like, the compared, compared to his, this season. Uh. Compared golden to his boot. own high, it's uh, not mm-hmm. there. Uh. The golden boot season after the golden boot season. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's yeah. a bit of a yeah. It's, it's, he's a bit. He's been a bit quiet to say the least. And uh, yeah, so that goal happened, and then Pravin, tell us your thoughts after Mane scored. After Mane scored, I just like gave up. To be honest, I was like, "Oh my god, it's going to be like I don't know." I thought we were going to lose like two 0 because like how to say ah, like okay like to be one thing coming back at Anfield is a. Uh, I don't know. I don't even. I don't. I didn't know it was possible until they showed it. Uh, until City showed it. Uh, I mean, it's like it's impossible lah. Uh, I felt like oh, oh my god, like Anfield just erupted. Uh, then Foden just scored. Uh, oh my god, Anfield like, erupted again. Ah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the away stands. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I, mean, yeah, I think it was, goal, a, it was a. Yeah, I mean, it was like actually to be honest, it was a wow. Game was actually fire, yeah. Yeah, end to end stuff. I, I think after 60th minute, the next half an hour was the last half an hour was just end to end. Yeah. Like after Foden's goal, yeah, I think right. Foden also scored like. I think Foden scored quite immediate. Like it was a instant like reaction. I think 60 is like 62 or 63rd yeah. minute he scored. For so the goal, like, I want to also give uh, Gabriel Jesus. Credit because he actually. I mean, I don't think many people talk about that dribble. I was a pretty sick mm. dribble, in my opinion. He went past two or three Liverpool players and he set up Foden, yeah. who may yeah, he found space. Yes, but yeah, I thought Jesus was key for that goal. La. So yeah, amazing stuff. And uh, the game is nicely poised at one-one. And then, uh, <laughs> and I would say yeah. after that, City were actually back to dominating again. Like they had a momentum. Yeah. They were actually not creating clear-cut chances, but they were knocking on Liverpool's uh, door. And uh, and then one counter attack, my man. Tarun, take it away. Let's go. <sighs> Yo, I I, I have this. I have no words to describe this man. Uh. He is best player in the league, best player in the world. Mo Salah, take a bow. What a man! What a run! What a goal! Put like two city defenders on the ass. Bernardo is uh, one of them, uh, right? Yeah, Bernardo is one of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, Laporte and uh, Diaz both went Lampard. down. So, one of them. I think, no, Lampard didn't go down. down. I think yeah, only one. I think Diaz went, went down. down but after, I... after he scored, like, I don't know what they were doing. No, I think Diaz wanted to go down because he thought that Salah is going to sweat from that point. Like yeah, after but, he, I mean, took out. Yeah, the guy took a shot. <clears> yeah, bottom line is they were both on the on the ground when he scored, which is always a nice picture. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, that was. I mean, I, I typed it in the group. Like, I thought that was a Puskas worthy goal. Like, I mean, something out of nothing. That's it's against a Puskas worthy the... goal of the season, goal of yeah. the year, I mean, goal of all okay, time. Okay, okay. I, I opened a, I opened a huge can of worms there. Okay, I should have, should have, should have known when to stop. But <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Not I thought that was. Yourself, I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what to do, lah? Like. Uh, anyway, yeah. Yeah, the goal. Yeah, I mean, was that goal, the goal, goal was insane. insane like. Like. You cannot. You cannot discredit that goal one whatsoever. That was against the best defense in the league, honestly. Like arguably the best defense in the league, and he sat down like two to two to three players in an individual solo goal effort. Which, I mean, like as Tarun said, like I mean, he could have easily won the game for Liverpool, honestly. And and what what's more, like disheartening for City was the fact that they actually played very very well, and and the world class goal like that is the one that sort of at that point gave Liverpool the lead. Could easily have deflated City, lah. Then. And um, a lot of, and I think after right after that, there was uh, the James Milner incident, right, uh, where he should have been arguably sent off after tackling. Crime, Kill- I'm telling you, I tell you, it's criminal that he was on the pitch. Uh. <laughs> it's criminal. I mean, it's, it, it's to be honest, right? At one point, it's utterly like how is it? 
no the thing is it's not yeah it's like it's pretty unfair if you think about it i mean it's actually i mean if miller was sent off this goal wouldn't have happened as simple as that because it's from the incident they counter attack mm. if the foul was given sala wouldn't have gotten the ball simple as that true so it's definitely like, it's it's true is them unfair i don't know i i really don't know i mean pep was right i mean if he was happy for a city player city player would have been sent off i think it's a campaign against city it it it's happened to bernardo silva and he wasn't sent off he took out sala mm. after his yellow card Last ten minutes. Well, it, 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 I it, don't remember this. I I don't. I don't. That's why he was he was <laughs> identical and he wouldn't get sent off. It's not a campaign or anything. It's just referees are more lenient when you're already on a yellow card. That's interesting. Okay, I, to be honest, I don't know. I I didn't feel like if the Bernardo Silva incident happened, it wasn't really talked about much. At least in the post match. Yeah, I don't think. I don't just, think it was that. Or um, because it's a campaign against asking, Liverpool. What can I say? Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you did a 180 there. Uh, anyway, yeah. yeah. So that okay, yeah. Anyway, but also I'd like to put it out there. Foden ripped uh, Milner to shreds, and I'm quoting the commentator by the way. Uh, yeah, Milner had a torrid game. Uh, really, really difficult. Was horrendous. Uh, it's just highlighting the fact that we really need a right back right now, a backup right back. Yeah, probably like Trent. Trent's numbers this season are insane, right? Yeah, he is. He was. He ranked first, first in like so many things. Ah. Uh. Yeah, in I can't remember what the, what the it's stats. It's in the league. Right? It's not even in the. No, he's first for the chances created in the league. First for the yeah, passes the completed in the league. First for crosses completed in the league. It's insane for a right back. I mean, I mean, if it's just in the Liverpool squad, I understand. I mean, it's across the league, and there's yeah, players yeah. like KDB, Bruno, players are Ronnie. I don't get. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so it's it's mad, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I don't like. I think the point is we don't need someone. As good as Trent, we just need someone who is good enough to play against. Defensively, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, to play against yeah. City, yeah, I would say. Like, I think I think Foden was really, Foden really too good for Milner. He he yeah uh, he couldn't handle him. I think Milner is like, like he was just he's way past. And he wasn't he wasn't just that. I think it was also that Henderson was not doing enough to support cover, yeah. which he normally does with Trent. I don't know what he was doing. Like, he was playing as second striker for most of the match. Mm. He was basically yeah. playing the Firmino role for some reason. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, I mean, Hendo I mean, was the one that lost the ball for the Bernardo Silva dribble, actually. Yeah, it's have a very not. Good it's not what you want to see from a captain. I mean, I still think he's a brilliant captain, but performance-wise, he's been a bit lacking, especially against City. Hmm. Fair play. Okay, so uh, yeah. yeah, so City were absolutely deflated after the Salah's uh, worldy goal. And uh, maybe I mean, Pravin, Pravin had already resigned to the fact that they're going to lose. He was just uh, complaining, whining. Because Salah's goal blah, blah. was when like seventy something minute area. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think, I think, I think it was fair to say that any, even any neutral like myself thought that Liverpool are probably going to get away with it, which I hate absolutely despise. Like, because I felt like, I even I felt the injustice that City felt because they played very, very well. I mean, from a neutral standpoint, it was a brilliant game to watch, and the fact that City were going to lose might have actually lost that game. Was was even a, like disheartening for even me as a United fan, like even though I'm not supposed to feel <laughs> feel stuff for City, but yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I mean, that, if you that, had to choose between City and Liverpool, you'd choose City, right? Uh, yeah. In a way, I just I I I I didn't think that I would despise Liverpool as much after they won the league, lah. But yeah, they I, I really <laughs> after they won the league, right? Uh, yeah, cannot stand Liverpool fans and uh, <laughs> Liverpool as a club in general. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, Pravin, take us through the last goal. First of all, I mean after that, to be honest, I mean after the world class goal, I think any team would be just like, they would be just like, I just give up really. But yeah, I mean it showed a lot of character, especially at Anfield, to come back and and me and what a goal, ah, uh, Bernardo. Yeah, I mean KDB, oh my god, he just took it on the left foot. I mean weak foot. I mean yes, the like, man has no weak foot. Ah, to be fair, he's yeah. equally good at both sides. Ah, that's it. Yeah, I mean I, I was like, it's like, yeah. I mean, I think I mean just showed. I mean, like how to say, like, I mean the world class. I mean the best players for the each team just stepped up this game. Simple as that. And, yeah, uh, correct. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean it was a excellent game to watch. And after that, Rodri's block. So it was like a, I mean, it was a roller coaster ride for a Man City fan. Up down, up down. Uh, I nearly died. Uh. And then uh, when <laughs> Fabinho was there with the empty net, right? Oh my god, standing at the empty net, I was like, oh my god. What for score all these world class goals? I mean, wow, oh my god, this simple as goal is going to take it away. Uh. I was mean, like, 
that Rodri just came out of nowhere. No, he was not even inside the picture. Because that was Diaz. Because Diaz yeah, was inside yeah. the picture. Yeah. Uh, he was a Rodri. Yeah. <laughs> insane. He just yeah. teleported into the frame. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. That was like that was a world class. That, that that block is worth the league title. I'm telling you. Like that, that could be the difference. Honestly, it could have. It could be. Yeah. I mean, it could be the knows, difference. Uh, yeah, really yeah. It is, could uh, be. Actually. It could be. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Oh that block. It's, it's like a goal in the on the other side. Uh. It's, it's as good as that. Uh. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's yeah. worth it. It's worth so, its weight in gold. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, overall it was an excellent game. Yeah, I mean, I think no one will listen to that. No, no mean, complaints yeah. from the neutral here. I am thoroughly yeah. satisfied with the game. And I feel uh, like this is one of those games we will look back at in like three, four years time and be like, wow, what a game it was. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Sure. I think, like, you remember the 18-19 game, the 2-1 also, like, people look yeah, back on it like today. Hmm. Yeah, people yeah. look back on it today and we're like, still like, oh, wow, what a game it was. The yeah, perfect title like, decided, the, the kind the, of thing. The, yeah. the, the Foden versus Milner game was, uh, I mean, the Foden versus Milner uh, like, uh, rivalry is just like, I just foresee as like the Sane versus Trent, uh, that game. Wow, Sane versus Trent, uh, that game was, uh, wow. Sane just like, killed Trent that game. Uh. It's, just, <laughs> it's just, Trent couldn't get enough of Sane, uh, that game. Wow, it was brilliant. Uh. It's the same type of game, uh. Yeah, and he nice. was at Enfield also, so it was it's, it's class. Yeah, it was even sweeter, lah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Too many of these things are lining up. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Yeah. So city, moving on. City. Okay, I guess we're even the Champions League. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay. I think we'll tie it off there. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> moving on to the uh, the dreaded United fixture, which is becoming a staple. <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, I have no idea why we have to pick every time United don't win. But uh, yeah, no choice. I have to talk about it. Because you guys are not winning simple as that. <laughs> yeah, I mean like, yeah, it's, 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 I, me it's and, not fun for me. Me and Private in the podcast, we just have to. Uh. Uh, yeah, we just have to. I mean, okay, let's start. Okay. Let's start with the team selection first. Team so selection. Okay, la, I mean, first of all, I think leaving Ronnie out is being blown out of proportion. La. I think he also needs a rest. La. I mean, the man has been, the man literally saved us in the Villarreal game midweek. And uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's he started the Villarreal game, game right? Yeah, he did. He's been playing almost every single. I mean, he's been playing every single game, lah. So I don't think mm. it's anything wrong in giving him a breather, especially with the international break coming up. You need to take care of your main man, your your star player Ronaldo. If you get him, let's say you overwork him, and then midweek he goes to Portugal, and I mean he trains in the national team, he gets injured. I mean the one who's going to suffer is us the most, lah. So I don't really blame only on the decision to leave out. Ronaldo, I think it, it will, whenever he benches Ronaldo, which will be a few times in the season, he is going to get a lot of stick. But uh, I mean, that's not the basis for me uh, sort of going against him at this point. Uh, the basis for me going against him at this point is the, the fraud that is Fred. Lah. Simple as that. Lah. Oh my God. I, I do not understand. I, I just lost for words. Lah. Like, weak, I mean, yeah, definitely like, he has been, okay, like, I mean, I, I know I've been giving Fred a lot of stick recently. Maybe, Sort of, I sort of jumped on the bandwagon in some sense, but um, despite the fact that Fred and McTominay have been like the basis of what we built so far as a club, uh, I mean, t- talking about my uh, talking about our second place finish last season, uh, and the progress we've made as a consistent top four club, I think it's built on McTominay and Fred. Uh, I'll give them credit for that. Like, I mean, I think they I think they've done well to that extent, but I think it's come to a point where we cannot rely on him anymore. Like. That, that's the truth. Like. I mean, I think the players around uh, the, our midfield are too, too good to have Fred or McTominay. Like. I think McTominay also, I can, I can still get, I can still see it. Because like, I think if he were to partner someone like Van Der Beek, who, yeah, I mean, who is crying out for a start. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, I also read somewhere that he's going to be given an out to Everton. Just quite an interesting transfer saga that's being uh, that's coming about. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I really hope that we keep him because I think he has a lot to offer. And Ole actually promised him game time, like, and uh, I mean none of us are seeing any changes. Like it's frustrating for him as a player to be uh, overlooked over this man called Fred. And uh, yeah, the, the thing about Fred right now, he's making consistent mistakes every single game. That's uh, that, that's the re- real. Uh, how do I say? It? The fact that Ole is still backing him after all these mistakes is the one that's really, really hard to see. I don't understand. That's why I think I'm questioning Ole right now. At, at this point, I'm more tending towards Ole, to be very honest. I'll be honest. I know Pramod isn't here to, for the podcast, but I mean, for me personally, I think it is kind of, I mean, I 
am tending towards that. But I don't think he should be sacked after the Everton game or anything. I just feel like mm. that was that was criminal. Lah. I mean, to to keep to start Fred after the games he's been having recently. I know people might say the the Villarreal game. He was the one that gave the cross in, which arguably set up the goal. <laughs> But yeah, I mean that can't be the basis to start him week in week out, lah. I mean, if you want to make a case to bench Ronaldo to rest him, I think you can make a case to bench Fred to give Van der Beek, who is equally almost a better player than uh, Fred, lah. So yeah, that's the main criticism of Ole in my my standpoint. Uh, but the game itself, yeah, I mean the first goal was brilliant. I thought uh, we won. I think this has been a trend. We haven't been outright dominating games. It's always been a laborious win every time. But I think okay, I can't. I could. I can't say this is a laborious game. I think we played a bit better than not usual. I would say the first half was pretty decent. Uh, we had we played well in patches, and uh, Anthony Marshall in the end ended up scoring the the goal, which was brilliant. I mean, yeah, I'm all all people of Marshall. I mean, Marshall has been sort of a forgotten uh, hero at Old Trafford, and. Uh, yeah, literally uh, out of nowhere. No one saw it coming. Into it. I mean, I think the commentator was just saying that um, the left side between Shaw and uh, Marshall wasn't linking up well. And the minute after he says that, <laughs> Marshall ends up scoring the goal. So it's quite funny to see that. Comedy discuss. Uh, comedy discuss pretty much. And uh, yeah, after which, uh, first half, yeah, we were 1-0 up. And uh, suddenly out of nowhere, 16th minute, we make a horrendous defensive mistake. And uh, Andros Townsend is practically given a one-on-one with, da- with David De Gea. And uh, to no, no one's surprise, he manages to target it to the bottom corner. Lah. And uh, it's Anyone one-one. Benza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, of course... You know what they go look like? You look like like prime school kids defending. And then everyone just runs towards the ball. Horrible. Lah. And uh, guess who was at fault for that goal? Once again. And, uh, is it? Yep, it, it was my man Fred. The guy could have easily fouled him at the. He was at the byline basically. Uh, Townsend, was it Townsend or I forgot who it was? I, was, I, was, I think yeah, it was I Demari. Think was I, I think it was Demari yeah. Grey, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, uh, who, by the way, Milan, yeah. who by the way is having a stellar season and a fantastic game, I have to say. And uh, yeah, so yeah, he could have easily fouled him. Literally, all he had to do is just take his ankles. Literally, like I could have done that. <laughs> Sunday, as a Sunday league defender, I know better, to be very honest. To, that is a crucial passage of play. Where you have the whole right side, uh, right side exposed in some sense because I think Luke Shaw is Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw is actually pushed up, so mm-hmm. that whole side is exposed, and then, I mean, I think any professional that's a professional foul to commit. Like, I think any football player would have done it. I think you, if you guys have watched the Amazon documentary of Mourinho, I mean, he has lamented time and again that football players need to be. I can't say it out loud, lah, but you guys the the c word basically, uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and. I think that's quite an important aspect of the game. You have to be able to commit professional fouls when necessary for your team. And if let's say Fred had taken the yellow card one for the team, it would have been a much different game, honestly. It, we would have had a much, much different complexion to the whole game. And who knows, we might have actually gone on to win that because that goal actually depleted us a lot, I felt. And uh, and Everton and Rafa set up his team brilliantly. Lah. To even get a goal against Rafa's team was, I think, very commendable. Lah. Because... I mean, only his tactical nuance isn't like, I mean, there la, To be, I, mean, I have to be honest like He hasn't, he hasn't shown it yet la, At least we, we have. I haven't seen fluid football on a consistent basis. Maybe in patches, but not, 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 not like Peps or Klopp's, where like you know, there's a certain brand of football, which you can associate um, uh, the teams with. And right now, it's not there yet. I mean, yeah, I think he deserves. I definitely think he deserves at least till the end of the season to see where he is. But. Uh, and the reason why I'm not like outright sack Ole right now is because we are still in touching distance uh, in terms of uh, first place. Like we're not like we're not like we're technically in, uh, on the same point as City. I just just putting it out there. So like we're not like we are not like straight away out of the title days. You know, I mean, yeah, realistically the way we're playing, we're probably out. But mathematically, it's still possible. Like. That's what I'm saying. So and the thing of is, course. okay, I, 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 I of course it's still possible. Yeah, yeah, no. Anyone can still win the league, technically. <laughs> Norway can still win the league. Yeah. yeah, I don't get it. I mean, right. Brighton are in the same points as, as us as well. I like, just saying, 14. Yeah, Brighton are playing well. Yeah, Brighton are playing well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. What I want to say is, like, the thing is, Ole has typically done well against the bigger teams. Uh, over Okay, last season was more mostly in draws, but he didn't, he didn't get beat, to be fair. And the season before that, he was winning all the big games. So, it will be, um, especially like what Praveen said, um, I think two or three podcasts before, like, he's talking about how 
the next 11 fixtures for United are one of the most important fixtures ever. So I think that will probably define our season. And also there's a good chance that uh, we might actually, I, I wouldn't write us off so fast because we've typically done well in big games. Uh, like, and especially with so many big characters in the dressing room, you never know. Because each game is different. I know I know the City Liverpool game and we compare it, I compare I mean the same game we you compare our game, like we are nowhere close to where they are. Definitely I'm not going to deny that. But each game is different and you'll be surprised to see how uh, teams turn up. Like. And you never know the City game, Liverpool game, we could be City the Liverpool game is the next major game I'm not wrong. I think next week we're playing Leicester in the week not next week, the I mean uh, whenever the yeah, next right after international break, yeah. right after international mm-hmm. break, I play Leicester. Then after that, Liverpool twenty fourth is the Liverpool game. So yeah, I mean Liverpool are running. I would say they are still, even though they didn't have a fantastic overall game against City, they they are, they are quite a scary formidable force, lah. I mean, they given the way we are playing right now, when you go to face them, we might we might get beaten five six nil, lah. Then that's that's how I think that's the, that's the Gulf in quality. I would say, lah, right now. No, I think that's for Liverpool, right? If they can keep the lev- the. The, those eleven that play, uh, against City, right, fit for the entire mm. season. I think they'll win the league. Like, simple as that, like. Yeah. Mm. I think I think if they can have their playing level fit, but I think one or two injuries, uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh. And, no, and in the right side, it, yeah, it depends yeah, on the injuries. Well. Gone, uh. Our right side, we are gone. I mean, just just imagine uh, that one guy, that one guy, ah, uh, that one guy just gets injured. Uh. I just, wow. I just, just, just one guy, just two foot him. Is that hard? Is that, yeah, that hard? Take one for the league. Uh. Seriously, take <laughs> one, one for the league. That's what I was saying. Take one for the league. Uh. It's just not even two the foot him. Uh, take honestly. one for the league. That's two foot. It just don't have to. I'm not asking for a lot. Uh. Two months. Out for two months. Wow. You'll probably be shattered. Uh. <laughs> think, uh, yeah, it'll be shambles. Uh. They'll crumble. Uh. They'll crumble. <laughs> they'll they'll crumble. crumble. Uh. Oh my god. So yeah, I mean that's about my that's about it for my thoughts with the United game. I think uh, frustrating, I think game after, frustrating game after frustrating. Yeah, game after game. Sorry, game after game. I just feel like the opposition uh, like taking a like you know like uh, taking a piece at uh, Ronaldo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> every time they score, every time they score, yeah, same but I mean, it's quite funny to see. Uh, Townsend actually posted after the game like nothing but yeah, respect. Yeah, for I mean, I know that, so, but yeah. when yeah. you just look at it, like you know, just yeah, like, yeah, uh, as, I mean, as a sole yeah. incident, yeah, and, uh, I mean, as, as, as a sole incident, incident was quite funny. Yeah. The shit house yeah, is, shit house is, is, is going like beyond yeah. like I mean the the way I expected. I mean first it was Amy Martinez, <laughs> now it's <laughs> Townsend. I mean I don't know who's going to score next. So, yeah. Both the old Trafford some oh my god that's the, that's the worst yeah. part lah. La. I mean all this. But uh, yeah, it's okay. I think I'm, I'm, my thinking is like the international break, it'll be a good refresher. Uh, get the players, mm. uh, I mean, go, go back to the national teams, clear the hits, come back and uh, face Leicester on whichever day. I think it's on the 16th, if I'm not wrong. 16th, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, hopefully we get a positive result there. And from there, we can start things. I mean, kick, kick our season uh, from there. La. Kick things off for our season because Liverpool mm. is coming very, very soon. And uh, I'm not at this point with the current form, not really looking forward to it, lah. But uh, you never know in see, football. See, I think simply put, right? City was at their peak, and we only managed to draw. So if you're, if you guys not going to Anfield with that kind of, yeah, you guys are gonna get battered, as simple as that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it also like uh, also depends on the kind of teams that come back from the international break, because you never know. Sometimes teams. Mm. Perform better. Some teams okay. take a bit more yeah. time. Mm. Liverpool yeah, historically have taken a bit of time to adjust after international breaks. That's good thing. Mm. That's that's all I want to hear, honestly. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think with uh, that we I won't, can... I won't oversell things. Maybe a <laughs> draw, especially knowing United. Yeah, so, I think typically like recent times, I don't think there's been a. Okay, I think the last fixture, the last recent many Liverpool fixture you guys won, right? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. But I think typically uh, the trend that has been over the past few seasons is like we've dominated the games surprisingly to my surprise as well, uh, and it's always been somehow Liverpool can eke out a draw la. So yeah, that's what, that's how the trend has been, and uh, yeah, only against only for big teams. I think his style suits uh, United especially. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I think that's it. Anything else to add? Nope. Uh, right. Not really. Yeah. And it's All been right. a. To, to borrow a quote from a friend, it's been a delectable medley of footballing splendor. Yep, absolutely. And we Whoa. thought that two fixtures would be promo. enough to fill the time. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're almost running out of time. Anyway, um, yeah. yep. Anyway, uh, guys. 
thanks so much guys for listening to uh, episode 39 oh, wow it's actually been 39 episodes wow that's been a, quite a lot for our football uh, channel <laughs> um, yeah anyway uh, thanks so much guys for the support um, we hope to bring you more content in the future and uh, before we end things off uh, Tarun please take it away yep once again if you listen all this way thank you so much for your support we really do appreciate it and uh, you can also check us out on Instagram at the next team SG and TikTok at the next team SG as well. And also do follow us on Spotify and subscribe to us on YouTube on both of these places as the next team podcast. All the links will be in the description as well. Yeah. Thanks, Tarun. And uh, thank you guys so much for uh, lending your ears or <laughs> lending your eyes if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again in the next episode of the next team podcast. Bye bye. Ciao guys. Oh, wow. sorry, sorry. He literally ciao. Wow, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay.